Well, welcome to the first episode of Camping with Steve. Not the Steve you're used to, but Steve nonetheless. Part of the things I, I need to do to get rid of uh, to get ready for this uh, stealth camping that I'm planning on uh, in a state park in New Jersey is to prepare some firewood. We've already got a fire ring set up, and it's in this ledge on this steep trail that you basically have to climb up. Uh, hands and, and, and feet and it looks pretty obvious as a it's a really beautiful day and park's packed and I've got look a saw sticking out of my bag so let's see how this works out well so yeah this is uh, a park in state park in New Jersey it's actually one of the smaller ones and it's in a more of a congested area in northern New Jersey so uh, there's houses and and buildings um, that surround the park. But the interesting thing is uh, the topography of this park is so steep. Big drop off there. Here's the regular trail. And then just a steep, steep, um, sort of almost a cliff. And we find our way, we found our way up there a couple times already, developed the, this site. Um, it is really a bear to get up. Uh, you have to be grabbing onto vines and, and rocks and it's, it's really kind of dangerous, which is probably what makes it such a good stealth site because no one's gonna, ever go up there um and we are uh guarded by this wall of of uh of trees a bit of a cliff and then it flattens out where the site is and then it goes up again to the back of somebody's yard um i had my son matthew pr survey it and uh you know we've had several fires there without any detection i'm, I'm quite comfortable in uh in staying stealthy up there uh the big trick now is getting my overweight body up these up this big cliff and I'll report back to you if I'm successful so far thanks okay so this is what I've kind of presented myself with uh, it is it is quite a barrier uh, which is both good and bad it's 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 dangerous and hard as heck to get up uh, you have to sit and, and rest for 20 minutes just to recover I'm going up there to sweat to, to process firewood I'm gonna have to take a break. Maybe a couple step twos, but uh, here it is. And I don't know if the camera doesn't display the steepness and the, the, the difficulty of this climb, but uh, rest assured, it's it's gotta be uh, maybe 30, 35 degrees in some parts. Well, here we go. I'm not gonna try to film this, so if there's another video that follows this, it means I made it. Till then. I made it. Man, that was tough. I had to stop like four times. And I've been sitting here on this little stone chair of, I've made myself last time. Uh, and it's taken me three or four minutes just to recover enough so I could talk. But uh, there's the fire ring. Nice size. Ample trees for our Hennessy hammocks. I may just set up a tent uh, if I clear out some of these rocks here. And then as you can see, there's a sort of like a step for the, the campsite. Then it moseys up another steep incline to uh, somebody's backyard. Uh, I believe the, my son Matthew told me the, uh, the house itself is set far back and there's a fence. So big field separating that from, from us. So, I, you know, again, we've had many fires here. Uh, no one's detected anything or we haven't heard anything from the trail down there and beautiful view. I mean, you could see for, for 20, 30 miles. So, uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous park, but again, it's it's in a kind of a heavily populated area. So, uh, scoping this out and finding this was a, was a real was a real gem, gem of a site. Good discovery. So I'm gonna take a break for a second, maybe have a step two and uh, get the processing some firewood for uh, this big stealth camp out we're having in two weeks. Until then, I'll talk to you soon. Man, I've only been at this for like 20 minutes. I'm already exhausted. I did get a pretty decent amount of wood. I mean, that's enough for a couple hours. You know, I figured I'd have to probably, uh, you know, quadruple, maybe uh, make that pile five times as large as it is now to give us a chance to get through the night. Um, there's a plethora of firewood around here. There's just no absence. But, you know, I'm gonna take a break and I think it's a good time for a step two. 
Uh, today's is the uh, White Claw Ruby Grapefruit. Good stuff. Um, I wish everyone uh, a happy Sunday, happy winter, and I'll talk to you soon.